What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette. For those of you who don't know me, I've been a flight attendant for a little bit over three years now. And in today's video, I want to talk about the coronavirus and how it's affecting the airline industry. If this is something that you would be interested in, then please keep on watching. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the coronavirus panic that's been going on lately. Um, I want to talk about it in regards to how it's affecting the airline industry mainly and what flight attendants are worried about and all of that. Um, so basically, as you all know, there has been a flu virus that's going around very quickly. Um, that we do not have a vaccine for and everyone is worried and afraid and the airline industry is getting hit big time because of it. People are afraid to travel, people do travel and they end up getting everybody on the plane sick or something like that. So um, it's a pretty big deal. Around the time when this first started, it kind of was only centered in China. And because the airline that I work for doesn't fly to and from China, it was more of like just a story to me. And then recently the virus has found its way into the US and so now we are all worried, we are all afraid. It could be anybody here that is infected. <sighs> Disclaimer you guys, I did not make, I'm not making this video to frighten you anymore or whatever. I just want to share with you guys what's going on behind the scenes in the airline industry because not a lot of people are talking about that. Because of the fear of how quickly this virus is spreading, not really knowing how to treat it, and you know, the possibility of it put you in the hospital and in the ICU, that's very terrifying. And so because of the warnings against travel, people are canceling their trips. We were supposed to go to New York this weekend. We ended up canceling uh, because my family was not comfortable flying to New York, especially because the subways and all that stuff, they really worry about it. So we ended up canceling it. So there are a lot of people who are in our place who are canceling the flights. Now, I don't necessarily think that everybody should just like, be dramatic and go crazy and do all this stuff like people are buying people are wiping out the grocery stores and w wiping out Amazon ordering m surgical masks um, latex gloves and hand sanitizer toilet paper for some reason is very popular right now but the thing is the thing that I think most people are not thinking about is that um, surgical masks, they don't really do anything to protect us from this virus. So in order for you to be fully protected from this virus, it is ideal for you to stay at home inside your house and have no contact with anybody until this thing dies down. Not a lot of people have the resources to do that. So a lot of people are not doing that because they have to go to work. They have to do this. They have to do that. So, um, people are assuming that wearing gloves all the time and wearing the mask is gonna help them not catch this virus. What they don't realize is now they're selling out companies of surgical masks and hospitals are not able to get these. That's what I was reading. I'm no expert, you guys, but that's what I was reading. And you know what? I would be terrified if the hospital that I go to ran out of surgical masks and protective latex gloves and sanitary items because that's a place that is going to make us better if we do get the virus. Anyways, that's beside the point. <laughs> that is not my department, but you guys stop freaking out. Um, but it is, it is a pretty, pretty big deal. So for us, um, we just received an email like yesterday, maybe a couple hours before Trump made his uh, speech and our company advised us of some changes that were going on so obviously people are afraid now of catching something so they are you know disinfecting their area which is great you should do that 
a few of those changes are that um, we do all we we are going to have cleaning crews that well they're working on figuring out how they're going to implement cleaning crews to clean in between each flight but the precautions that we are taking on the flight as flight attendants um, I know that we are now allowed to wear gloves even during service so if we are handing you beverages and items such as that you know we're wearing gloves so there's some type of protection I know some people don't necessarily agree with that they're all about washing their hands and that's great but you know what the safer you are the better one of the the suggestions from our company was to pack extra clothing in case of like a quarantine situation or something like that and you know that that that's scary for us and it's scary in a sense that now you know it's going into our time off and we're having to be held in these quarantine locations and we have families at home and stuff like that so it's a really big deal for us in the industry and um, not only that but we are constantly exposed to people and stuff like that so the more that passengers are aware of being sanitary the better it is for everybody all around and also I'm sure the majority of you know but the president has banned all travel to and from Europe um, with the exception of London so that is a major thing for the airline industry so there are a lot of flight attendants who mainly do Europe routes because of the pay or because of a family situation or for whatever reason a lot of flight attendants they do those routes and so now with the travel ban um, to and from Europe there's a lot of flight attendants and a lot of airline companies that are having to cancel flights and reduce flying to certain areas and it's affecting us it's affecting our livelihood it's, it's affecting us a lot so our company is worried that we are going to go through a very tough time in terms of like whether we all would be able to fly and how much money we're gonna make so it's it's a pretty big deal for us also our CEO he sent out a mass video to all of us explaining the situation and how the flights have slowed down for us and that we're losing money and that he actually is gonna sacrifice some of his pay in order to reinforce the company so that way we don't feel it and I think that's great um, I think people should look into what airline companies are doing for their employees I mean they're really doing everything they can to ensure our job safety basically because our jobs are on the line if the airline industry gets shut down we all will lose our jobs so that's a worry for us and you know it's not it's not like we are afraid of catching this virus what we're afraid of is the consequences from this virus spreading which is the loss of our jobs so if you or someone you know are not feeling well please please stay inside go to a hospital do something to take care of it just don't go out in public and spread it this virus is so easily spreadable I mean in one month it's like it's crazy it's gone to how many different countries now and there might even be some countries where it's gone to that we haven't heard from yet because it literally just sits in your body for a week and you don't know that you have it so it's very scary and it's affecting us big time and yeah and there's absolutely nothing we can really do about it except just be as clean and sanitary as possible and not leave the house when we're sick if you do travel I highly suggest taking with you some sanitary wipes um, here are some areas on a plane that I think you should be aware of and those are areas on the plane that probably have a lot of germs that don't really get cleaned that often so the first one that I want to talk about is obviously it's a good idea to wipe down your whole seating area so wipe down your seat wipe the armrests 
and wipe the seat in front of you. You should also be wiping the the window area, that whole area. You know, people tend to sleep on that area. Another major area that holds a lot of germs on the airplane is the tray table. You guys, I, I have seen a lot of nasty stuff on those tray tables. People blow their nose and then just set the napkin there. We don't clean that. We don't have time to clean those. So it would be a good idea to wipe those down just to be on the safe side. You know, I've seen babies like lick the tray table. I've seen them eat their food off of the tray table. So that is just a really germ infested area. So you're going to want to wipe all of that down. Another thing that you should wipe down, which I don't think anybody really thinks about is the seat belts. So the buckle, the actual belt itself, that holds a lot of germs as well. So you want to be very conscious and very um, cautious about what you touch on the airplane only because of how many people go on and off an airplane all day long. I personally am not afraid of catching the virus. I think I'm fairly healthy. What I am afraid of is that I have the virus and that I give it to somebody who is not able to fight it or like somebody like my grandma or you know Nick's grandma so you guys just be careful and stay clean you know I was shocked at the information that I was reading on Facebook like people were sharing instructions on how to clean your hands like you guys you should know how to do that that should be common knowledge to everybody like you clean your hands you don't just all right rinse and then get out of the bathroom no like it should be a full-on 20 to 30 second thing of you scrubbing you scrub your palms in between your fingers you know from the tops from the bottoms get underneath your nails that has a lot of bacteria and you know what I don't see people do you got to bring the soap up to your wrist because I see people do this all the time with their wrists you got to make sure that area is clean like just be more aware try not to touch people you know as much as you want to go in to shake somebody's hand even a fist bump that's still skin to skin contact like just be very aware i mean don't be rude to people obviously you know don't go and like ah, but <laughs> just be careful i was fortunate to have purchased a pack of wet one wipes these these wipes from amazon about a month ago and now you cannot find anything on amazon you can't find hand sanitizer you can't find disinfectant wipes like you can't find anything it's insane people are going nuts and i think everybody should just stop what they're doing take a deep breath and learn more about it education and knowledge is key like if you learn more about how to avoid it, where to avoid, what to do if you catch it, stuff like that, you will be way better off. But I think a lot of people, when they reach a moment where they don't know what's going to happen, they completely freak out. And I mean, it's understandable, but you can't do that because there are other people who are going to be affected just as much as you. So just take a breath, breathe, calm down. It's going to be okay. But yeah, that shit is affecting us big time and you know what i i'm really afraid that there's a possibility that i could lose my job or some of my friends could lose their jobs you know and it's not even only flight attendants it's everybody who works for you know an airline company uh it's a scary time so yeah I just thought I would come on here and you know share that with you guys I don't really see anybody talking about what's happening to the airline industry so yeah it's a pretty big deal for us I'm going to end this video and wish you guys luck in what's going on right now and if you don't feel good stay home get some rest the CDC website has great tips on what to do to build up your immune system take vitamins oh
also if you guys go to the store pick up some emergency this is an open pack i had it yesterday <laughs> just the wrapper on the floor but um, emergency is really good so this is just basically vitamin c supplements i mean you want to get as many vitamins as possible builds up your immunity and hope for the best you guys and if you feel sick if you feel any symptoms go to a hospital get yourself checked out don't just write it out folks you want to go there you want them to be able to treat you and to keep you contained so you don't get anybody else sick Whew. all right you guys that concludes my video if you guys have any comments any questions any thing that you want to share any tips leave them in the comment section below and hopefully we get through this thing in the best way possible and Hopefully we pick up flying again. <laughs> you guys, oh my God, I am so, okay, it kind of sucks because my bachelorette is going to be in June and I don't know when this is going to be over. So yeah, just be safe, just be careful. And yeah, that's all I got to say. I hope that the information that I gave you is informative. I hope you learned something about what we as flight attendants are going through. And yeah, keep us in your thoughts. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next video.